Let's talk about attitude and emotion. How do you really get to the heart of the matter and really, really play what you're hearing and what you're feeling as an improviser? You know, you're, you built up this solo full of all this amazing vocabulary you've worked on. Um, you found all this new technique that you've worked really hard to incorporate. Uh, you've, you've worked on time and you've bent, bent time to your will. Um, you've worked on phrasing. You've worked on tone and, and all these amazing things to change the way you, you sound so that you can tell your story. But how do you actually get it out? All these things that you're hearing up in here and that you're feeling in here, you know, as cliche as it sounds, in your heart. Um, that's an equally important part to being an improviser because you've got an audience full of people out there who want to feel what you're feeling when you're taking this solo. So what if I'm sitting, you know, on this stage and I'm hearing, you know, something aggressive, let's say. You know, I'm in a, in a, in a mood where something has is, is upset me and I can't hold it back. You know, how do you approach that? Well, sometimes it's as simple as changing the tone and the technique, like we said. But sometimes you just got to be aggressive. So instead of playing that... You may play, you know, people are going to know you're angry or like Buddy Guy, if he goes, you know, you got to bring that into your playing. And, you know, it's an equally important part of having an audience connect with your improvisation and an equally important part of telling your story and tying it all up, you know, with a bow. Um, you've got all this stuff that you're trying to say. And you have to wear your emotions on your sleeves and be able to honestly convey that to an audience. Now, obviously, this is something that's hard to teach and even hard to demonstrate. But I think the most important thing to take away is that you have to be honest in your feelings. You've got to play really, really what you're hearing and what you're feeling. And don't worry about, you know, is it the right thing or the wrong thing? It can only be the right thing if it's really, truly what you're hearing and what you're feeling. So try to, you know, maybe take a solo where you're just listening to your head and your heart, you know, which is a hard thing to do. But, you know, sometimes you just got to tilt your head down and get into a blues and just really, really hear. That's just something you gotta you gotta feel that, and the audience knows when you mean it and when you're connecting with them. And it's just a matter of opening yourself up to being able to do that. And it, it, it's what helps you take all those tools that you've worked on and really, really tie it together in, into a real solo that says something.